We're here with Mike Batesel, Fresno State baseball coach for the 42nd year in a row. The Bulldogs have had at least one player drafted. How impressive is that streak? <laughs> That's unbelievable. I didn't know that. Edgar Gonzalez, the first guy off the board, goes in the sixth round of the Cardinals. Sixth round, kind of where you pegged the first team All-Mountain West selection? You know, we, we all three of them went right where we thought they would go. You know, Edgar, four to six, we were hoping. Uh, Edgar came so far. What, what he did this year at eight and two, you know, if we're not playing five and six freshmen behind him, he might have won 12 games. I mean, in a different year with an older team, uh, what he did this year was super special. Uh, there's no team in America that he couldn't have beat. So he goes in the sixth round of the Cardinals. Two rounds later, Jeremiah Burks to the Tigers. He had a great season, 340, started all 54 games. From where he began as a freshman to where he now is as a junior, or I guess just after his junior season, what do you think about his development and where he got selected? Just remarkable. I mean, one of my favorite players of, of all time. Nobody that I've ever coached has ever taken every single ground ball from the time he stepped on Biden Field to the time he left with everything that he had. Uh, and w where he came offensively, you know, his first two years, he actually had uh, about half his at-bats or maybe even a little more were strikeouts. And then he went out last, he just kept grinding, you know, and he went out again last summer, he did super good, and he brought that back and had a, a good solid fall. And then as you saw, uh, off to a good start, he started the season batting down at the bottom, eighth, eighth and ninth, uh, finished the season batting third for us. If they're patient with him, uh, at some point, it's going to skyrocket quickly. I mean, he's got all the talent in the world, and he works. He just needs games and at bats. So sixth and eighth round, the money is there. It's about a quarter of a million dollars. You expect both of them to go pro? Have you talked to them already about that? Yes, I have, and I think they're they're both going to sign, and I think they're both ready to go. They're both physically talented enough. They both have enough games under their belt now. And some guys, you know, you just know they're they're ready to go. In the 26th round, Corby Batesel, your son, gets taken by the Boston Red Sox. For you to have your son and your player get drafted, was it a little bit different with it being Corby? Again, he went right about where we thought. You know, we were hoping 25th, 30th, somewhere right in there, uh, get an opportunity. Uh, the other guys are going to get paid. Uh, he's going to get a plane ticket. <laughs> but well, he's a senior, so he didn't have as much leverage. <laughs> and he's, but the big thing is hopefully he's going to get an opportunity. Uh, if you notice, they didn't draft any uh, college shortstops ahead of him, one high school shortstop. So uh, that adds up to he should at least get an opportunity. And then what he does with that, he does with that. But for it to be your own son, to have your son get drafted, were the emotions a little bit different? You know, I love all these kids, man. And really, you know, yes, uh, yes to that question, but... You know, I got goosebumps when Edgar's name was called, and when JB's name was called, it was like, yes. I mean, that right where they should go, getting right what everybody expected, right what they earned, is just perfect. You have three guys get drafted, but within the last two weeks, you have two guys get called up to have Austin Wins, a guy who was part of that 2013 draft with Aaron Judge. Not only did he make his debut with the Orioles, he gets a hit in his first at bat. Austin Wins is just everybody's favorite. Generally what happens when guys get called up, we flash it out to everybody, you know, and you get a response from about half the guys, way to go, whatever, they all have something, some of them have something funny to say. When Winsy's name went out, I think just about everybody replied. I mean, he was just one of those teammates. And, and you always hear these things about uh, catchers, you know, well, pitchers like to throw to him, or that's when you know you're going good is when pitchers, they love to throw to him. And if you watched him catch his first big league game, it looked like a 10-year veteran. I mean, he is fantastic when it comes to receiving, uh, blocking, uh, and then to get a hit in his first at bat, he got a hang and breaking ball and ripped it. Uh, just absolutely perfect. Good for him. Is Taylor Ward the next guy to get called up? I just talked to Taylor last week, too, when the day he came off the DL, and he was actually playing against Muno. He was in Tacoma uh, the day he came off the DL, and what happened is when he got called up, as he was packing, he cut his finger and had to have some stitches, so he, he missed a couple weeks on the DL, but now he's ready and able to play, uh, which is great. And uh, Schlechtholz got called up to AAA last week, too, uh, and this week, actually, and uh, threw three shutout innings. So uh, a lot of our guys doing good right on the cusp.